Um, huge Elden Ring discovery. Ronnie's what? All right, what's going on, guys? So within the Elden Ring community, there's been a ton of people trying to piece. They said Ronnie mistranslation together the lore of the game and while there is an overarching you say you missed the best part line of events there are still quite a bit of things that can be left up to interpretation one of those things being ronnie's quest line and ronnie's quest is probably the one that most people are going to do so when it comes to something like this it's kind of weird that such an oversight could happen and what i'm talking about is yesterday when you guys shot me this article and obvious spoiler warning here we are going to be talking about one of the endings but it appears that Ronnie's ending is mistranslated. Now when I first saw this, I didn't think too much of it. I thought maybe they just had a few words mixed up and it didn't really matter too much. But after reading the article, no, this completely changes everything that we thought we knew about Ronnie and her motives. So I'm going to go through this article with you guys and we're going to compare and contrast the English. No, in before they say Ronnie is evil. If she was evil, I wouldn't even be surprised, high key. In Japanese versions. To fully understand what you said, did you finish the game? Where have you been, sir? Yes, I finished the game. I got Ronnie's at, um, ending, actually. So let's get right into it. Now that players have had some time to get into Elden Ring, more and more people are clearing the game. According to trophies, the ending that players have chosen the most is the Age of the Stars, unlocked by clearing Ronnie the Witch's quest. But what does this ending entail? A lot of the dialogue is cryptic, which has left players confused and divided over what it means. Unfortunately, it appears that the confusion is coming from a number of mistranslations and localization changes. Elden Ring's backstory might have been written by George R. R. Martin, who of course writes in English, but what he provided was only a backbone for the story, and the script for the game itself is, as director Miyazaki has said himself, written by him and from software. This voice End sequence of 10 seconds. If you don't want to be spoiled of the ending of the first movie, skip. Why are you sending me the whole movie? I just said I don't want to see the movie because I might get DMCA'd. Hey. And you keep sending me the movie. End sequence of 10 seconds. I'm only watching 10 seconds. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Basically, the bazooka. It was fire. This movie wasn't bad. People who are saying this movie is bad must have been people who were trying to take the movie seriously. This is this was just like a like a you know like something cool to watch. I I personally liked it from what I remember. I thought it was a great watch. You said it was the second one that people said was bad. Voiceover is mm. derived from the translated version of the script. And so any mistranslations in the Thank you, Class, for the for the two dollars, man. I appreciate it. Well. So let's listen to the ending in English first, and then we're gonna talk about the translation. The battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. Into fear, doubt, and loneliness. Bro, that's Melia. I didn't even realize when I saw the ending. Because you you know why now I know that this is uh, um the the girl who was with you with the eye, because we saw that cutscene. You said you just now realized. I just now realized because we saw the cutscene earlier today. Because remember, like when we saw the the trailer of the girl when you were maidenless, the one with the eye closed, that's her. The the little translucent shit. Loneliness. As the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? Bro, that's her. Look at the other face and look at the eye. The eye is closed. That's the girl that you chill with that set the Ur tree aflame. So technically you get two maidens My when you get with Ronnie. 
The discrepancies begin. You get with the two maidens, you technically. The chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. It seems that the translator who handled this line did not understand the original line at all. So what was the original the individual line? parts are correctly translated, the order of the words and thus cause and effect and thus the entire meaning of the line have been changed. In Japanese, the line states, To all, you may think of the chill night as infinitely far away. To break down the problems with the English translation of the line, encompasses all in the original line, Subeteyo, indicates that she is addressing all, encompasses is nowhere to be found in the original line. So the meaning here that's changed is that instead of this affecting everybody, she's instead putting out an announcement to everybody. Beginneth. There is no mention of anything beginning in the original line. The Great Beyond. This seems to be a mistranslation of Haruka ni Toku, meaning infinitely slash extremely far away. The translator seems to have been unable to understand how this relates to the rest of the line and changed it to reaching, when Ronnie is in fact telling all people that the chill night will from now on be far away. So you guys can see how already in this first line it completely changes the meaning of what happened. Instead of Is that Metroid the Prime music in the, the background between and plunging the world into darkness, the Japanese line yeah, that's seems Metro to Prime be music in the background. quite the opposite. So let's keep reading. Into fear, doubt, and loneliness as the path stretcheth into darkness has also been mistranslated, erroneously being connected with the previous line when it in fact should be connected to the following line. As with the previous line, it seems that the translator was unable to understand Japanese sentence structure and parse the correlation between the lines. A better way to represent the Japanese dialogue actually would be, I shall swear to all lives and souls, from here on is the age of the stars, the laws of the moon a thousand year journey. To all, you may think of the chill night as infinitely far away. And now, let us go on our path of fear, doubt, and loneliness into darkness. This is a literal translation to clarify the meaning of the Japanese dialogue. Oh, that's that that makes way more sense. Cause I'm not gonna lie, what she said at the ending, when that whole moon shit kind of like had me a little bit confused, cause I kind of didn't understand it. Yo. DMM, thank you so much for the 15 months, man. You said cause her ending made it sound villainous. Yeah. It gave off like a villainous vibe, but she's actually good. But now, like seeing it this way, I shall swear to all lives and souls from here on is the age of the stars, the laws of the moon, a thousand year journey. To all, you may think that the chill night is um, the chill night as infinitely far away. And from now on, let us go on our path of fear, doubt and loneliness into darkness. Okay. So some rewording might be prudent if it were to actually be implemented into the game. So the original line has her not beginning a chill night, but telling everyone that the chill night will now be kept far away. And the mention of fear, doubt, and loneliness is referring to her own dark path. But what is the chill night and what is it being far away actually mean? So what you guys can see here is that the original translation intended for Ronnie to be referencing her own journey past the stars with us, her consort, rather than plunging the world as a whole into the night. If this is really a mistranslation, then it does fundamentally change everything we thought we knew about Rani and her intentions with the Golden Order. But let's look at this explanation. Thankfully, there's an event where when you go to Rani's room and talk to the doll after clearing her quest, she clearly explains everything to you. Unfortunately, the lines here were also mistranslated. No way. So let's listen to the English real quick. I take it thou hast noticed. I shouldn't be surprised. I thought I might expound a little further upon the order I envision. Mine will be an order not of gold, but the stars and moon of the chill night. I would keep them far from the earth beneath our feet. As it is now, life and souls and order are bound tightly together. But I would have them at a great remove and have the certainties of sight, emotion, faith, and touch all become impossibilities, which is why I would abandon this soil with mine order. Wouldst thou come to me even now, my one and only lord? The Japanese translation states about my order. My order will not be of gold, but of the stars and moon and chill night. I want to keep it far away from this land. Even if life and souls are one with the order, it, the order, 
could be kept far away. If it was not possible to clearly see, feel, believe in, or touch the order, that would be better. That is why I will leave this place along with the order. And once again, this is a literal translation. The far away here is the same wording used in the ending, where she says the cold night will be far away. It's odd that the exact same word used here is mostly correctly translated to keep them far, in this instance, but mistranslated so badly in the ending. Though it is misinterpreted to refer to the stars, moon, and night when it is referencing the order itself. The line about having them referring to life, souls, and order kept at a great remove suggests that Ronnie is separating the three, but the original dialogue dialogue seems to suggest that it is impossible to do so, and that her choosing to keep the order far away is a compromise to deal with that. The biggest problem with the English version is the line stating, have the certainties of sight, emotion, faith, and touch all become impossibilities. Players have argued that this ending erases the emotions of people for some reason. This is in fact an egregious mistranslation, the line is actually referring to the order. The Japanese language commonly omits the subject when speaking about something when it should be easily inferred, but this frequently confuses people who are not very fluent in the language, and that seems to have been the case here. What Ronnie is saying here is that it would be better if the order is not somewhere physically close by, where people can see and touch it. Additionally, the Tashkani used to indicate what right now, people can clearly see or feel or touch the order, a word that is not at all important in the line, and could in fact be omitted entirely without changing its meaning, was misinterpreted to have undue importance turned into the certainties. Similarly, the softly worded phrase where Ronnie is just saying she thinks it would be better if these things could not happen, was changed into the hard become impossibilities. Combined, this line gives many players the impression that the ending would result in Ronnie forcing people to give up their emotions. So let me explain why this is important. Basically, what the English translation of the ending implies is that Ronnie is plunging the world into darkness where people will no longer have souls or emotions. See? That's why there was a part of me that was like, mm. like, I kept questioning to the chat. I'm like, is she, is she good? And everyone's like, yeah, she's good. But the English translation makes it seem like but when we look at the Japanese translation in context with the rest of the game, it becomes clear. The whole reason the shattering happened was because the Golden Order could be tampered with. What she wants to do is make the Order of the Stars and Moon, where it can no longer be tampered with by the people inhabiting the lands between. Because if you guys remember, when the shattering happened, it caused a blight to spread across the lands between, basically making everybody insane. But when she talks about things like feelings and emotions in the Japanese translation, she's implying that this new order would no longer affect that, so that something like the shattering never happens again. And the darkness in the night that she talks about is in reference to the journey that we, along with her, will take to move this order from the lands between far away. Mm. So this mistranslation is a huge oversight. I mean, it essentially changes her from a villain to a hero. Mm. So I really thought this was important to cover because a lot of people out there are interpreting Ronnie's lore without knowing about this mistranslation. Mm. But that's gonna pretty much do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, that's good to know. Like on it and subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, this guy love he loves Metroid. He loves Metroid. Will Smith apologize. We've seen Oscar Awards. Damn. Yo. All I want to say is Kanasuba's goaded because the titty mechanics in that show is absolutely fantasy. British Film Academy. Don't care. Her forehands are still being used every day. Damn.